Hi guys! So this video is just going to be kind of a random video. The kids are outside playing so I wanted to come inside to make this video real quick and I was debating even making a video about it but I know that there's gonna be like 300 questions about it for people who don't follow me like on Instagram or Facebook or anything and they're gonna be like what happened basically in the upcoming videos you'll notice that the twins hair is gone completely shaved almost bald so I talked about it on Instagram and on Facebook so if you follow me on there then you most likely already saw this but I was really upset when this happened and I'm I'm better now what happened was I sent them over to their dad's house for um, one night and they came back and their head was completely shaved this happened without like asking me without giving me a heads up nothing just came back and their heads were shaved on top of that they were poorly shaved there was patches everywhere and there was long hairs and it wasn't done properly and there were cuts on back of Caden's head as well from from doing it so but I did want to just make uh, a video because I don't want to have to explain in all the comments for the people who don't follow me this to me wasn't about the hair it wasn't the thing that upset me because hair grows back I get it I understand that wasn't the big deal to me the thing that upset me the most about it was when I asked him why he did it he told me because I can and there's nothing you can do about it. I got very upset about it. I obviously don't say anything to them about it. I was like, oh, it's so look at your new haircut, it's so cute. But Kyson was having a hard time with it. He saw it the next morning and we were like, I was like taking a picture with him and he looked in the picture and he was like, my hair, it's gone. Do you wanna come say hi? Come you say hi. hi. <laughs> Kyson, can you say hi? Do you wanna go get your hat? up the room again. Um, I don't like talking about any of this stuff in front of them. Co-parenting sucks sometimes because no matter how far past like all of like the drama that happens because I mean if any in any split up in any breakup there's always feelings behind the split. There's always emotions behind a split and it takes a long time for some of those emotions to kind of heal, heal themselves and there's nothing wrong with that. Some people just cope in different ways than other people. Everybody does it differently and everybody does it at their own pace and this this to me was upsetting to me because I felt like it was an attack against me I guess it would be different if um, he was like oh it's hot outside and uh, I just really thought that um, like, like one of them was saying that they were hot and so I cut it so that it'd be cooler outside like summer's coming like some kind of explanation behind it I guess or oh I just thought it would be cute but the fact that it was just like because I can was kind of what upset me the most because I feel like that was sort of a stab at me. I felt like the kids were being punished for something that shouldn't have, it shouldn't have affected them, I guess. And it's really hard because I feel like I really do try on my end my hardest to not say anything bad or do anything bad or um, let the kids know what's happening no matter how hard it's been the whole breakup and the whole I mean I mean just everything like breakups are hard and it, it really hurt me to know that they were being brought into the middle of it we have talked about it since then and I put an offer out there to get together sometime in the next week and just sit down and just just put everything on the table and try to get back to a place where the kids needs are put first and um, we're just on the same page with everything so I'm hoping that that happens but I saw how much Kyson hated it I mean he won't even leave the house without a hat on like he really is upset by it <clears throat> and I'm trying to change it. I'm trying to be like oh you look so cute oh look it's it's hot outside doesn't it feel better I'm trying to say all the right things but there's only so much that I can say to make it right and oh my gosh it's just been it's been a really stressful weekend it has been a really really stressful weekend and that is why I've been I'm like so behind on my VEDA videos I've just oh there's so much going on I just wanted to make this video to talk about the struggles behind co-parenting sometimes if you guys have any tips if you've had something similar to this happen um, it's hard and it's frustrating because I mean people can say oh like take it to court blah 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 but really that's not that's not the court's job it's not their job to tell you who can give your kid a haircut or not or who's in charge of making what decisions because it should be between the parents that's the parents job um, to figure out if they're having issues then figure it out I wanted to talk about this and I know that I get like 20,000 questions so I just wanted to do little update about that and talk about the downsides of co-parenting because really there's a lot there's there's a lot of positives about it if you guys are communicating with each other like Gabe and I for example Gabe and I have 
like a great co-parenting relationship. We talk on a regular basis. He calls Aaliyah every single day. Um, we don't have any issues and we had a rough patch. I mean, I think every, like I said, every with, with every breakup comes, especially when there's kids involved, comes rough patches and people in general go through rough patches. A lot of people have been asking about my relationship with Gabe and how that's all going. And I don't really update a lot about that because we're honestly on such a good level. There's not really much to update on. Like we're, ba we're practically friends. We talk all the time. He calls Lily all the time, never misses a visit, pays as he's supposed to. Like everything is, everything's great with him. He's great and our relationship is great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up. Sorry if it's kind of all over the place. It, I've said this before, but I, I feel like I have like a YouTube family. Like I see the people who comment on a regular basis and I like know them on a first name basis and I see them constantly. Even if I don't reply back to them, I still value people's input. Again, sorry if this, kind of, this is kind of all over the place, but I will go ahead and talk to you guys for my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.